In this episode of Bali Marine Life, you'll learn about the Wonderpus octopus. Hello, this is Kim from Bali Marine Life, and in this video, you'll learn all about the Wonderpus, an amazing octopus found in Bali, Indonesia. Let's get started. Now, octopus are a type of mollusk that belong to the group Cephalopoda, which means head-footed. They swim and slither using both jet propulsion in that water is sucked in from underneath and sent out their siphon and pumped out. And they also move with their suction cups that are all over their arms. Now, this wonderpus is gliding over the reef and it looks effortless. I think he's probably trying to find a burrow to go back into. They don't always use burrows that they build themselves. They might inhabit burrows of other animals. Today I went diving on a site called Molasti. Now Molasti is where I found this octopus. Actually, I have to give credit to my dive guy, Wyan. He actually found this octopus and pointed it out to me. So I'm very grateful. And this is a type of dive called muck diving. So you just go there and pretty much just lay around the bottom and you wait for to find things. Muck diving is where a lot of photographers like to do macro photography. Okay, here he's kind of, he made a quick movement and I kind of jumped back for a second there. Um, so macro photography is like really popular here because there's lots of nudibranx and, and lots of, know things that you can take pictures of like later on in this dive I saw ghost pipe fish and lots of lots of cool things so to find this is awesome because it's, it's just very rare and I'm also just so grateful that this octopus just stayed with me for so long and I just was remaining calm and and keeping my distance and zooming in and it just sort of slid around all right, so I want to tell you some things about this octopus because it's just fascinating in so many ways. First of all, its scientific name is Wonderpus photogenicus, which I love. And it reminds me of, my family says I have the Wanderlust gene or the Wanderlust gene. And in German, Wander means to wander. And so this name should be easy to remember because the Wonderpus is wandering all over the place. It's like other octopus, it's a carnivore. So it feeds by foraging for its food and it does that around dusk and dawn. And this, this time of the day, it was like about midday when we saw this. Okay, when it forages for its food, it can do a couple things. First of all, its food is, its food is both fish and crustaceans like small crabs and things like that on the reef. So it can forage in a couple ways. So the one thing it can do is use its tentacles to probe into holes and just reach out, you know, reach a crab and eat it. And another thing it can do is this web. You see, my dive guide is actually, the octopus, although it can change color right now, he's just flashing the light around for me. So you can actually see its true colors. I'll talk about that in a minute. But you see there's a web and the web spreads out. Okay, so it spreads out and it can sort of then go over the top of some crabs and small fish and then sort of lift up its little umbrella there and suck in everything under the web so it can kind of capture food that way. The really cool name for that is called web casting, which I love because web casting is something I do at work when I have to do video conferences. So that's another easy thing to remember. So this octopus feeds by both probing and webcasting. And once again, it feeds on small fish and crustaceans. It's a carnivore. Now, this octopus is easily confused with the mimic octopus. That's another octopus that's found in Bali, Indonesia. The mimic octopus is fascinating because it can mimic up to 15 different species of animals, including sea snakes, flounder, uh, lionfish, and all kinds of things. But this octopus is a slightly different color. It's more reddish and brown. And it has bigger eye stalks and smaller eyes. But the eyes are up on stalks. Now I want to just talk about color for a minute. 
I am down at about 50 feet and I'm using a camera without any video lights. My dive guide knows this and he's very intuitive and I didn't even ask him to give me some light, but he did anyway, which is really nice. He's coming by. He knows I don't like when you put light directly into organisms' eyes or you, or you mess with their organisms. So he's making sure that the halo of, of his light, like the side of his light is going around. That enables me to capture what the natural color of this organism is. It is reddish brown. Okay, because the first colors to be absorbed in the ocean are reds and oranges. And I'm down at 50 feet, so everything sort of looks, you know, blue already. So I'm so glad that he came over with the light. And he's, and he's showing you what the true color of this octopus is. It's also helping my camera to focus. And he's not doing it too much, and he's not really startling this organism. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed learning about the Wonderpus. And for more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel, Bali Marine Life. Thank you.